Hey there, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about dental plaque and an effective remedy for tartar. So, what exactly is tartar? Well, tartar is essentially dental plaque. To understand this better, let's dive into the concept of biofilms. Biofilms are a combination of calcium deposits that act as shelters for bacteria. It's one of their survival mechanisms. These biofilms create a protective dome that helps bacteria evade detection from our immune system and antibiotics. In fact, did you know that 95% of bacteria in nature live in biofilms? You can even spot biofilms on rocks and streams. They appear slimy and slippery. So, wherever there's water, such as saliva in your mouth, biofilms can form. An excess of biofilms can lead to issues like bad breath, inflammation, and receding gums. In severe cases, a dental visit may be necessary for extraction. But don't worry. Today we'll discuss how you can prevent and manage tartar more effectively. How to prevent dental plaque. Now, let's talk about some preventive measures you can take to reduce dental plaque buildup. One useful tool in this fight against plaque is xylitol. Xylitol, a sugar alcohol found in gum and sweeteners, possesses antibiofilm properties. It helps suppress the adhesion of bacteria to your teeth. So, if you enjoy chewing gum, make sure it contains xylitol. Additionally, there are natural herbs and compounds that act as antibiofilm agents. These include rosemary, clove, thyme, oregano oil, garlic, curcumin, found in turmeric, cinnamon, and N-acetylcysteine, NAC. Incorporating these natural remedies into your oral hygiene routine may help reduce biofilms. The top remedy for tartar. Now, let's get to the main event, the top remedy for tartar. This remedy only requires three simple ingredients, and I'll explain why it's effective. The first ingredient is baking soda. Baking soda, or sodium bicarbonate, is crucial because tartar can lead to excessive acid production around your teeth. When the pH levels drop to 3.5 to 5.5, your body begins to leach calcium from your bones through a process called decalcification. Therefore, it's vital to keep the pH in your mouth neutral or slightly acidic, but not overly acidic. Baking soda helps increase the pH, making the environment less conducive to acid-induced calcium loss. Moreover, baking soda aids in breaking down biofilms. To prepare this remedy, Mix 1 fourth teaspoon of baking soda in half a cup of water. Now, onto the second ingredient, hydrogen peroxide. Make sure to use 3% hydrogen peroxide, readily available at your local drugstore. Hydrogen peroxide is an excellent compound for inhibiting biofilm development and killing bacteria, yeast, and candida. Interestingly, hydrogen peroxide is a compound that your body naturally produces, mainly found in saliva. By using a slightly higher quantity of hydrogen peroxide, we can provide your body with the means to combat microbes effectively. Combine 1 4th teaspoon of baking soda and 1 4th teaspoon of 3% hydrogen peroxide in half a cup of water. Use your toothbrush to apply this mixture to your teeth after brushing with toothpaste. By doing so, you'll help prevent biofilms from reoccurring and ensure your teeth remain smooth and plaque free. Additional tips. Finally, I want to share some intriguing research regarding vitamin K2 and its potential in inhibiting dental plaque. Some individuals who started taking vitamin K2, often found in combination with vitamin D3, noticed that the inside of their teeth became smoother over time. Vitamin K2 plays a role in transporting calcium into the bones and out of soft tissues. While the research on its direct effect on dental plaque is mixed, it may be worth exploring if you're interested in further enhancing your oral health. Hoso, there you have it. A simple and effective remedy to prevent tartar buildup in your teeth. Remember, using baking soda and hydrogen peroxide in combination with your regular oral hygiene routine can help keep biofilms at bay and maintain smooth teeth. And if you're curious to learn more about vitamin K2 and its potential benefits, tells us in the comments. And we'd be delighted to make a video about it for you. That's all for today's video. We hope you found this information helpful in your quest for a healthier smile. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content.
And as always, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, take care of your teeth and keep smiling.